Hello and thanks for joining us on the Sandia Mountain Natural History Center quick trip. We have used a whole variety of cameras on this channel to kind of capture some nature. We've used drones, we've used night vision, we've used iPads, iPhones, DSLRs, telephoto lenses, all kinds of different things to try and bring nature to you. Today we're using a little bit different one. We're using what's called an inspection camera and we're going to put this down some holes and see if we can figure out what lives in those holes. Let's go get started. It might be tough for you guys to see, but we're gonna check out this hole down here and see what we can find. When I was filming this and because of the bright lights outside, it was hard to see actually what I was looking at. But upon retrospect and looking at this footage, it appears that we're looking at a bunch of fur. So this is clear evidence that someone's living here. My guess would be a squirrel uh, based on the size of the hole or possibly pack rat. And if you look just to the left here, that looks like some squirrel scat. A few minutes ago, I heard some northern flickers or red shafted flickers and i just came up and found this hole in a tree i also found this hole and another hole i think we got to check these out so i'm hoping i don't get attacked by an angry woodpecker like a northern flicker i've made a hook on the end here so we can see down a little bit better. Oh yeah, and in this one, we can definitely see, it's not focusing very well, but we can definitely see the remnants of an old nest down in there. I just found these loose piles of dirt. And they often signify pocket gopher. And if we come along over here, here's a hole. So we're going to set up our camera and check this one out. Can't tell how deep it goes. Turns out this hole didn't have anybody living there. So we're going to check out this nesting box or this birdhouse essentially and see what we can see. But if you decide to do this kind of thing at home, be smart for us. Take your time. Be careful. Think about the season you're in. Right now, we're doing this at a time of the year where we're pretty sure these things are not occupied. So we don't want to harass the animals in any way. So there's a few huge holes that I know of that could be a bear den. You should keep an eye out for a future video. But we won't mess with those holes uh, until the summer. So there will be a second what's in the hole video coming up. But we don't want to disturb any animals right now. This nest appears to be very full. And because of that, the camera is hitting almost right away, which isn't allowing it to focus very well. Try and cut in some footage. But this box... My camera is only going down to about here on this box so uh it's it's pretty full of nesting material so this is a nest that's getting used a lot and in this case it is probably uh western bluebirds because this is the perfect habitat i'm just seeing and i'll cut some footage in here some grainy footage of pine needles and things like that that's uh, a good nesting material for them so this one has been occupied this pile of sticks right here is actually a pack rat midden. Pack rat middens are awesome tools for uh, ecologists because they help us study how the ecosystem changes over time. And the way they can do that is because generation after generation uses the same pack rat midden. So because they're doing that, we can examine older generation scat, find seeds, and those seeds are gonna tell us about what plants we're in the ecosystem uh, hundreds and sometimes even thousands of years ago. So if I can find the entrance to this midden, we're going in. 
the pack rat is going to make its hole in a hard to get spot. So I got to crawl in here. Having said that, you better like and subscribe if I'm doing this to get your video. I still think I deserve your like and subscribe, but I don't think the entrance is down here. It's possible the entrance is in here. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes with this footage what we're looking at because it's such a foreign world. But if we take a minute and look carefully, we can see that there are pack rats here. There are leaves. You'll see pine cones. There's an acorn cap. So there is evidence of pack rats down here. I don't think I got into the main chamber of the midden, but who knows? I know some of you are starting to think, hey, he doesn't have a complete video, but I do. Here's some pack rat scat. And a little bit of rabbit scat. Bonus.